start using a few of these tools. So starting with your blank piece of paper, we're gonna make a dot in the center. And then we are going to create about um, probably eight to 10 sections. Um, using the ruler, you wanna go from the dot. to section off, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections. You could do more or less. I feel like this is a good sign for me to go. So in each of these, I'm going to do curves. For the first one, I'm going to curve up. And for the ones next to it, I'm going to start from the same place, but for these ones, I'm curving down. up, down, up, down, all the way around. Once you've completed and connected them, they should have kind of a wavy pattern where they're all connected. Now, the fun part is shading so that they look 3D. The key to shading is when you use your colored pencil, you want to shade harder along the edges and softer or lighter in the center. With colored pencils, it's all about pressure. You want to press harder on the edges and softer in the center, leaving a little bit of white in the very center. For my colors, I'm going to be using colored pencils and I'm going to alternate warm and cool colors. shading in all of my cones and the patterns, I'm going to do two final things to really make it pop. I'm going to use an eraser to erase out the highlights and make them consistent in the lines. And I'm also going to take a black colored pencil and just shade in the very um, edges of each cone in the crease to really make them darken and pop. my 
nice 3D optical illusion cones using warm and cool colors. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.